hey beautiful people and welcome back to my channel this is ray rex channel in this video today we're going to be making this beautiful piece that you can see i actually made this piece for a client but i decided to make mine and you can see how beautiful this looks so i'll just go right into this video but just in case you're clicking in for the first time consider hitting the subscribe button and don't make it your last let's go guys So right here, I've folded my fabric into two and then into four. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and um, proceed um, into the tutorial. But just so you can understand clearly, that part that I just touched now is actually going to be my shoulder line. It's not going to have any joining per se. Um, just to make it easier, I had to introduce a paper so that I can show you how I really um folded this um, um piece the fabric rather so um this part right here is the 45 inches which you know our ankara is by 45 inches and there this long part is the yardage i actually made use of a six yards but i made use of about four yards in total okay now i'm going to fold my fabric into the measurement of my um length of my sleeve now measuring from the the nape of the shoulder that's the middle part of your neck to about my elbow um i wanted my my sleeve to be about 18 inches okay 18 inches so i unfold that's on one part okay so into two is going to be 36 so i had to fold into 36 into 18 inches so i'm folding right now into 18 inches all right using my um 45 inches um side i'm going to do that again on my 45 inches line i folded I, I i measured 18 inches and then folded over that's what you can see me do excuse me and then i went ahead to measure because my the length of my dress is going to be 60 inches plus two inches it makes it 62 inches i went ahead to fold into two okay again that's 62 inches i'll take that again into 18 inches folded into 18 inches this way and that's where i seen the excess in front okay and then on my yardage end i folded i measured 62 inches and then folded into two so i'm going to be cutting for both front i'm going to be marking for both front and the back all right i hope we get this and then this um top part here which is folded is the shoulder line I hope we got that okay so moving on we're going to move on to the neck area and then we'll be taking measurement of our shoulder just so you have cognizance of the shoulder it's not like we're using it we're not cutting it out my shoulder is 14 inches divided by 2 is 7 so i went ahead to mark my 7 inches and then to take my neck width my neck width i'm taking about three and a half inches for my neck width okay because it's a v neckline and it's going to have um a built up collar you want to make it as small as you can so that the collar can come up a little so you can see that i have two folded edges there i'm going to be marking my front um neckline and my back neckline so for my back neckline i'm going with one and a half inches depth and then for my front neckline i'm going with nine inches reason i'm doing that is my bust point is about ten and a half so I don't want to reveal any of my, I don't want to reveal my cleavage and um, that's the reason why I made it 9 inches. So do same, just go up with about 1 inch or 1.5 and a half inches above your bust point if you don't want to reveal anything. So on that 9 inches spot, I forgot to mention, I came in with about 1 and a half inches. That's going to help us for our plaquettes, where we're going to place our plaquettes. Just follow what I'm doing, you will understand. So I went in by one and a half inches and then I'm going to draw up that line to the three and a half inches mark at the neck line. That's the neck width. And then I'm just going to go ahead to cover out my back neckline. As easy as that. So we'll move on to the sleeve. My sleeve on a good day is going to be is about 14 inches. Okay. But the picture, I mean, it's a big, it's a booboo. So I want to make that sleeve very big like open all right so i'll be going with 10 and a half inches for my sleeve depth so from the top of the the shoulder right there i'm just marking coming down by 10 and a half inches and i make that mark 10 and a half yeah 
all right so i'm um, moving on to the body remember this is a booboo it has no fitting whatsoever i'm going to be making use of my hip measurement from top to bottom okay from the from my bust to the length the full length down there i'm making use of my hip measurement divided by four plus two inches so my hip measurement is about is um 46 inches divided by four 11 and a half and plus two that's um 13 and a half so i'm marking 13 and a half on my bust line mark the same on my waistline on my hip line and then on the full length and then i'm just going to um join those marks up and that's be it So after doing this, the next thing you want to do is join this up neatly, alright? And then when I get to when I get to the sleeve where you can see me join those two lines right there, you see it has a very sharp edge right there, and then that's not going to work out if you're going to sew that. So I'm just going to take it to the edge, okay? I'm going to take my tape to the edge and then mark out one inch outwards, and then I'm going to make a curve like you can see me do this is just going to help you to make your sewing um easy all right and then when you're done with the dress it's just going to lay flat so at this point we're going to cut 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 um i left half of an inch while i was cutting beside the line so this is what we have i'm just going to raise up my front piece and then cut out just the front piece and then i'm cutting out the neckline and that's what you see me doing. Next up, we want to open up this dress. Okay, we want to measure out the neckline. All right, this is on fold. So I'm measuring, I want to measure up my neckline so that I can know the length of the um, um, piece of fabric I'm going to use for my beauty up collar. All right. So after measuring that, what I got was 15 and a half and that makes it um, 31 inches in length that we need. But I'm going, to, I'm going to cut out more than 31 inches. So I'm introducing my crepe fabric. This crepe fabric is a black crepe fabric. It is thick, a little bit thick, but I want to give it more structure. I'm going to give it more structure by um, ironing onto it um, and interfacing. So I've gone ahead to cut out my fabric on fold on um, two and a half inches on four so when you open it up that's about five inches in the width and then for the length i cut about um 35 inches in length for that strip which i'm going to be using for the neckline now what you can see me doing is i'm trying to open up the neckline to face it down so that i can make tiny notches at the tip there i mean at the neckline you can see me pointing there now this notch do not make it straight make a slanted notch to the side slanted notch so that when you're sewing you stop at the notch it's going to help you when you're sewing this strip of fabric around the neckline which is going to be like a built up collar okay do not just cut um, make that notch straight down i repeat do not make it straight down you might find it difficult to sew or nowhere to stop the notch helps you to regulate your sewing okay so um to sew this you're just going to place the um, black strip of fabric or your color whatever fabric your color of fabric you're using you're going to place it like so face down remember to leave some inches downwards so that you can have some at the end so that you can um, sew it onto the main fabric i hope you understand what i'm saying just watch what i'm doing and you will get the memo okay so we're just going to do that so that on runabout with half of an inch and then this is what we have you can see how beautiful this is looking already okay now what you want to do remember to use a pin i eventually when i got to the machine i had to use a pin to hold these two strips together okay now you want to sew on these two strips on to the tip of um, the neckline there that's the remaining part of the neckline which is not covered now how we're going to go about that is we're going to flip 
yeah we're going to flip them together i mean flip the clothes of the fabric over all right i had some excesses so it's it overlapped each other which is also fine all right so you just flip the back of the fabric flip to the back of the fabric rather and then hold the strip together like so you can see me holding on to the main fabric the remaining part of the neckline which was not sewn and then simply stitch it up with half of an inch it's as easy as that see the way i'm holding it sew it up with half of an inch and this is what we got after that so the next stop we want to make the detail in front i have a piece of paper which is about 11 inches by 8 inches you can just be creative with this i was just trying to cut and then you know it was even getting me confused at some point on the design but i didn't want so much because I'm a minimalist so I didn't want to make um, it as too big or too busy so I just made a straight line and I when I got this I was like this is just perfect so with you you can be you can play around with it make it um, busy whatever shape you want to make there is fine and up to you so I went ahead to cut it on to my on my um, crepe fabric I also ironed interfacing which is um the um, um, gum stay onto it just to give it some structure to make it hard enough so that I can sew it on So now I'm going to sew on to you can see how I'm placing it I'm going to sew that way with half of an inch and then flip over Pin it and then top stitch on the edges. This is just going to give us a nice finishing a neat finishing It's not like I cannot um, top stitch all round, but it just helps to give us a neat finishing so I'm just going to introduce, I went ahead to also cut out my strip for the sleeves. It's also two and a half inches um, width on fold. So I cut out five inches and then folded into two. I also ironed onto it the gum stay as well, like I said, for some stability. So I'm just going to go ahead and then sew that up. And then this is what we have. Our, black, our gown is looking all good. I've sewn that up. I'm just going to flip it over use my pins to hold them to put them in place you can at this point want to use um a hemming gum but my my crepe is so was so thick i couldn't just use a hemming gum it didn't stay so i had to sew so i've gone ahead to sew my um sleeves as well and this is what they look like and this is basically it. so i'm just going to go ahead to cut out my um pockets that i'll be using for the dress as well okay so you can see how neatly this is done i'm just going to um look out and um, measure out to get my um half length my half length is about 18 inches so i'm just going to measure down and then place my pocket at the 18 inches mark sew them on to it sew the sides as well i'm going to make a slit by the hem of the dress so that i can walk freely and um that will be all for this video so guys if you found this video helpful kindly hit the subscribe button drop a comment for me in the, in the section below i would love to read from you and until i meet you or hear from you on my next video bye